Good evening, Chairman Dutton and members of the committee. My name is Dr. Chloe Latham Sykes. I'm Deputy Director of Policy at IDRA, and I am also a parent. Um, our testimony uh, that um, we handed out and have submitted presents impacts of House Bill 3979 and Senate Bill 3 on students, teachers, and school staff. We call these bills collectively Texas classroom censorship laws because that has been their greatest impact. And their implementation has, as I think evidenced by uh, the past few days, been very confusing and very disruptive to, to students' education. Our testimony, as you'll read, outlines four main impacts, um, mostly through a chilling effect that has, it's had on classroom conversations and through its perhaps largest result, uh, which is book bans, widespread book bans. Um, first, they've weakened the quality of our curriculum, which we know it needs lots of support. Uh, second, they've lowered teacher, staff, and student morale in schools. Third, there have been real limits to real world and project-based and leadership opportunities for students. And there have been threats to students' civil rights, particularly their freedom of speech and their safe school climates. Um, first, through the imposing a chilling effect on how to teach anything related to race, gender, history, and current events, these bills have had a collectively negative impact on our educators. 53% in an educator survey conducted by IDRA reported that negative impact. And some districts, in order to comply with this law, um, even if that is through confusion, have canceled significant courses, like advanced courses, like AP African American Studies, Ethnic Studies courses, courses we know um, promote a quality and rigorous curriculum for our students to meet their college and career goals. We also um, were part of a, a student body um, submitting a letter to the Texas Attorney General detailing how censorship laws affected their ability to express and report discrimination that they had experienced based on race and gender identity in their schools. And that uh, letter, that full letter that was submitted is linked in our references and resources where students share their direct experiences. And second, book bans resulting from these laws and state leaders' book lists weaken the quality of available materials available to students and violate students' free speech and civil rights. Um, these are uh, particularly uh, impactful for black, Latino, and LGBTQ plus identified students who see books that represent their identities disappear from bookshelves. And there was an incident in Granbury ISD where um, the sheriff's department actually came and conducted a criminal investigation while students were present in the school library on campus campus um, for books that were authored by black, Latino, and LGBTQ plus identified authors. Um, this is incredibly disruptive to the learning space and was characterized as a witch hunt by members of that community. So we just ask that in order to meet the goals you have talked about so much in the past two days of addressing the teacher shortage, students accelerated learning, meeting our college and career goals, that um, we revisit what was instituted, the prohibited concepts and other aspects of Senate Bill 3, and pass uh, affirming curriculum and civics education that supports all students' learning. Thank you. All right. 